So today I'm installing the Synology TC500 turret cam on my front porch. You'll see the entire installation process from start to finish, sped up of course, and then we'll come back here to the computer and we'll get it set up in Synology Surveillance Station. There's the fish stick. You can see it right there. We need to get that, pull the cable through there to the right, across those beams, through here and into this cubby, and then finally through the wall and out into the rack with the rest of the bundle.
All right, so in the last clip, you saw me fi doing the final patch over into the switch from the patch panel. Now you can see I'm in Synology Surveillance Station. It's running on my 1621 Plus, and it already popped up to say, add one Synology TC500. So we're gonna click the blue Add Now button. Okay, so the dialog window comes up. It's the add camera window, and you can see the view right here. It's Synology TC500. It pulled the IP address from the camera. Now I'm going to go ahead and initialize this camera so I could set up its password. So let's go ahead and say initialize. And it says, the first time you connect to Synology, you need to set an account and password to initialize the device. The credentials will be used for future authentication. So we're going to go ahead and set a password now. And let's go ahead and say initialize. Sorry, the password you entered did not match. Of course, let's try that one more time. Anyway, I wanted to say this earlier. Use 8 to 32 characters. Include at least two of the following. Uppercase, lowercase, letters, numbers. Be different from the account. And then it's telling you that the current strength is good on this password, which obviously I mistyped. So let's try it again. That's one. Let's do the second one. Okay, hopefully we got it this time. Okay, there we go. We have the green check mark. So we're going to go ahead and say next and apply camera configurations in batch. Well, we only have the one camera. Let's do a quick setup for the purpose of this video. And it's just giving us the summary here. So let's go ahead and click on done. Okay, and hopefully while the camera is activating here now, when it's done activating, hopefully we will get the image appear just like we do on the top two cameras. And there we go. Now the camera seems to be updating. All right, so. Let's talk about this for a second. So you notice I already have two other cameras in Synology Surveillance Station in my backyard. Those are Amcrest cameras, and those used up the two licenses that came with Synology Surveillance Station. However, the third camera now did not require me to purchase another license from Synology because the camera itself comes with the license. So you do pay a little bit more for the camera, but it does include the license. The camera seems to be updating now. I'll switch over and I'll show you it's still updating. And you can see right here the camera's updating the firmware. Once that's done, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add it to the actual... Uh, let's go back here and we'll add it to the monitor center right here. We'll jump over to the Unify controller and I just want to switch the VLAN on the port on the switch so that it stays on the camera VLAN that I have set up with the other two cameras. So let me let that update and we'll be back as soon as that's done. Okay, so you can see here the TC500 has finished updating the firmware. It's recording at the moment. So now that we have that all up to date, let's go over and add it to the monitor center. So let's come over here to the left side and let's drag the TC500 in. Auto tracking, easily follow individuals with auto tracking by zooming in and out closely to monitor their movements. Okay, thank you for the tip. Let's go ahead and say done. And here you can see is the front porch. Now I need to adjust the camera angle just a little bit, but it's gonna do a job that I wanted to do, which is I could see when someone's coming up with a delivery, they usually leave the delivery right at the edge right here, and that's the whole purpose of having this front camera because I do get a lot of deliveries to this address. So now that we have that all said and done, the final thing I need to do is move this camera onto the 
camera VLAN and get it off my primary network. All right, so we're done here. We'll save these changes and we're going to jump over to my Unify network now and I'm going to come over to the US 24 PoE switch. And yes, I see my switches all have the status of click to update. And let's come over to the port manager and I'm plugged into port number two. So let's go there. We'll name this Synology TC500 cam and we will change the vlan to camera vlan 10 and apply the changes and now i'm going to go ahead and power cycle the port so that the camera reboots and gets hopefully gets an address in the 192.168.10 subnet. So let's go ahead and power cycle port two. And let's see what happens. We'll be right back once the camera is reloaded. All right, so after the switch port was power cycled, the TC500 did come up with an address in the camera VLAN. However, when I came back here to Synology Surveillance Station, it didn't auto update. So what I had to do was delete it. As you can see, it's no longer here. So we're going to go ahead and because it's now on another VLAN, we're going to have to add it manually. So let me click the add button and I'm going to click here, add manually, and we're going to call it the TC 500. And then the brand is going to be Synology. We'll pick TC500 and we'll give it the address now that it obtained in the camera VLAN. And we'll go ahead and say add. You can see the status says unadded. Let's click next. And before it said initialize when I first added it, that's when we set the username and password. Now it's asking us to authenticate. So we're going to authenticate using that username and password. And let's go ahead and say authenticate. And we have the green check mark here. So let's go ahead and say next. We're going to just do the quick setup again. Here we have the summary. Let's go ahead and say done. Okay, it says activating. As soon as it's activated, we should get a little thumbnail image. Once we receive that, we'll go back over then to the monitor center and we will add the TC500 to the layout. Now there's the thumbnail, so let's get out of here and let's go into the monitor center and we're going to select the TC500 from here, drag it into the layout and boom, there you go. To see more content like this, please click the video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.